What's going on, folks? So today I'm going to be checking out a band called Dreams of Solace, and the name of this song is Speak from the Dust. I'm looking forward to this. Uh, some nice symphonic metal with operatic vocals is what's promised based on the description and, and all that good stuff. So, I, I mean, those are two things that are, that are right down my alley. So I'm looking forward to this. And without further ado, I mean, let's just jump on in and give this bad boy a listen, shall we? Rangers, go.
very interesting song there. It's kind of like a, a dark, melancholic, melodic metal song there, like with some groovy elements. Uh, you know, some of the, the riffs and some of the, the vibes and rhythms were, were nice and groovy. I really kind of dug that. Um, it had a nice uh, momentum about it. And even when it kind of dies down and slows down a bit, it, it still has this just underlying nice rhythm about it you know like i said even though there's some kind of ups and downs it, it's certainly there's a lot of movement throughout this song um as far as musically and and you know the different sections and things like that but there there's just this underlying kind of just feeling and, and mood and uh, it was pretty tight you know i enjoyed that the the guitar work is really stellar I, you know it really it captures kind of a mood, you know, everything throughout the, the music and the vocals really just, you know, has this feeling and, and it's, it's somewhat dark. And that's why I said it's somewhat melancholic as well, because this song, it's not really in a rush to get anywhere. It's very prodding and, and, and just it moves at its own pace. And it's almost a even thought provoking pace because it gives time for just the, the sounds and to emanate and, and you just to kind of really take it in. Um, I really, really like the verses. The The verses were probably my favorite part of the song. You know, I just like the, the movement there, the, the rhythm, the, the guitar, the tone of the guitar in the song is really nice also. It, it's got this, this, again, just this dark kind of, you know, a heaviness that it, but it like emanates. So, you know, really cool stuff. But yeah, I like the, the verses quite a bit. Um, the chorus kind of grew on me as it went, but I still think the chorus could have used maybe a little bit more of a, a pop of some kind. Now, I, I know the nature of the song is not for it to be like super bombastic or anything like that. But you know, maybe just a little something, maybe get some strings going, uh, just a touch, just to, to really bring a, a nice extra little element to the chorus, because the, the song is relatively um, flatlined. I mean, like I said, I mean, there's definitely movement in there, you know, especially like with the vocals uh, is really nice. And then some of the different touches with the guitar and then how there's moments where it, it dies down or, you know, it lets itself breathe even more than some of the other spots, things like that. But it, it's relatively contained within a certain like spectrum. And I think, you know, I, I mean, again, it's tough, you know, because this song, it, it's certainly supposed to be a certain way and, you know, capture a specific feeling and, and things. And you don't want anything to really take away from that too much like you know you don't want to feel like you're jumping out of the song for like the chorus or a moment and then kind of plopping back in but you know i still think the the chorus could have been given just a little extra something just to, to really kind of hammer it home just to really separate it from the rest of the song just enough but not too much you know so it's still capturing the the feeling in the mood without breaking the, the chain, if you will, but just it gives it a little extra pizzazz, you know, a little extra something just to, to make it feel a little bit more impactful. Um, you know, again, I guess that's something you'd have to toy with, you know, perhaps it, it wouldn't work. You know, some things are, are great on, on paper, but then in practice, it just doesn't work. So, but yeah, you know, that's something that I would try um, personally. But uh, yeah, aside from that, it kind of grew on me and it's got the same vibe, you know, as the rest of the song. So it it's captures the, the feeling, you know, and, and, and like I said, I mean, it, you never break out of the song and then back in. It's very much keeps you within the, the realm of, of the song th all the way throughout. But yeah, like I was saying too, I really like the guitar work. That one sliding uh, section, you know, where he's like sliding up and down the guitar, that was really tight. I really like that sound. It was really cool. And and again, you know, that's something that lends itself to kind of the, the mood and the feeling of the song. So uh, a lot of the nice little details like that just really contribute to the overall feeling and then also just kind of making it feel like it's evolving as it goes. Uh, to an extent. 
the drum work w- was really nice. I, you know, I like the 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 uh, the the fills and you know the the sound of it. Everything sounds pretty good here, and I like the vocals. You know, I, again, it, it, this is just me wanting like some some crazy operatic vocals, but that just wouldn't have suited the song. Um, but she still like you know gets into the realm of operatic you know a bit you know goes a, a bit higher in some spots, and but she's got a really nice range and, and she's really able to stay within the confines of the song but still kind of play around a little bit with the the vocal melody and, and the delivery and things like that. But she's got a really nice voice. And, um, you know, it, it suits this song really well. And as much as I, I want to just hear her just wail, you know, it, it just had no place in this song. So, um, you know, I really like the way it was done. And, yeah, I mean, it, it's one of those songs where it, it's not meant to be in your face. It's very just, you know, uh, it lets itself breathe, really kind of crafts an environment, and atmosphere. I mean, it's quite atmospheric as well, you know, dark, atmospheric, melancholic, melodic. It, it really just has that vibe and everything all the way down to the uh, instruments and through to the vocals really captures that feeling. So clearly the song, you know, there's a lot of uh, attention to detail in the song to make sure that everything reflected uh, the the core of what they wanted it to sound like. So well done on that. And yeah, you know, and again, it, with the nature of this song, it's difficult because because it's not in your face, you know, and so you really just have to kind of get into the 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 mood of of the song and the feeling kind of just let it take you away kind of let it empty your mind and and just be absorbed in the sounds and how the the guitar and stuff's kind of resonating and you know all of that and so it's it's one of those songs that ultimately is neither here nor there but like it also doesn't try to be anything more than it is so, you know, I respect that. I think that's cool. It's a well-done song. It didn't blow my mind, but, you know, I think they certainly achieved what they were setting out to achieve. And it's just a, a cool-sounding song that, you know, I think could have used a little bit more, um, you know, in some spots, like I said before, like in the chorus, maybe get some strings going, you know, so or you get some nice piano melodies in there, some like dark piano. I'm not talking about like some bright, nice, you know, cheery notes or anything like that, but just really kind of continue to to weave that 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 melancholic, atmospheric, dark feeling kind of throughout the song, but with like some extra little touches just to help it pop just a touch you know not too much but just to, to really kind of you know give it an extra little something but as it stands you know it, it sounds there's a, a decent depth um, you know some spots sound a little bit more empty but again that's that's kind of the nature of the song so yeah you know I, I mean ultimately I guess uh, I'm, what I'm trying to say is very well done uh, I enjoyed it you know, it's not too much to write home about, in my opinion. But, you know, again, I think they achieve what they set out to do. And it's an enjoyable listening experience. Um, would I jump back in and give it another listen? Probably not. But, again, you know, that's when things really kind of just come down to personal taste. So, um, that's that. Curious to see, you know, what else this band, you know, releases in the future. Definitely going to keep tabs on that. Curious to see you know, especially from a song like this, you know, what other kind of things or routes that they go, or if they really kind of stick to, to this specific sound. So, anywho, that's that. Let me know, folks, in the comments down below what you think of this song. Let's talk about it all, and I'll catch you next time. Ranger, out.